Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, I see here that uh, Microsoft has a, a, a long road to hoe in terms of improving the experience in Windows 8. Uh, looking at the article, as linked in the description, 13 things Microsoft should improve in Windows 8 based on hands-on experience. In fact, this weekend, if you didn't catch, I had uploaded a video to YouTube uh, showing off uh, some Microsoft computer history. That was kind of fun. Uh, it was right across the way from the Microsoft store here in the Seattle area. And I went in the store and uh, I walked in and I kind of was ribbing the uh, the sales clerk uh, and asking him about Windows 8 because right up front says, hey, come take a look at Windows 8. I said, sure, why not? So uh, I did. He recognized me apparently from YouTube. I don't know if he's going to see this video, but uh, uh, that was the first time that I had experienced Windows 8 in person in uh, at least, yeah, pretty much on a touch computer. It's a Samsung uh, computer uh, PC and uh, it was running the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, the one that you can download at least right now uh, to look at to see you know what's up. So um, got to tell you, Metro was pretty cool. Uh, it was slick, uh, took mm, a little getting used to, but uh, you know the design ethos was perfect for what it needs to be, and that is Windows in a touch environment. However, that said, um, I was a little disconcerted to still see Arrow there. The Metro experience, the Arrow experience, they're two completely separate things. Think of the Arrow experience as the classic uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista experience. The Metro experience is really something you would find on Windows Phone 7 or potentially on uh, Xbox uh, Live or, I guess, in the operating system uh, that's on the Xbox. So, it was neat. Uh, I think it does have promise. Uh, the bigger challenge is nailing down a lot of the bugs that I experienced. I mean, there's there some quirkiness, UI jumpiness, jerkiness, uh, smooth in spots, not in others. Uh, but by and large, uh, they're on the right track. Uh, and I, I did sell, uh, tell the, the clerk that as well. Uh, that doesn't mean they're uh, perfect. No, no one's perfect, really. They definitely have a lot to do uh, before that's ready for prime time. And anybody who says otherwise doesn't know their ass from their elbow. Uh, I think my biggest concern with Windows 8, and I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again, if I'm using Windows 8 in a touch computer um, setup, some, some you know, hardware configuration, I don't want to see Arrow. I just don't. Uh, and I realize it's kind of impossible. If I'm using Windows 8 on, let's say, a traditional desktop or notebook experience, I don't want to see Metro. And Microsoft's giving you both. Uh, and they're doing as good a job as they can, I think, in trying to give you both, but that's the thing. They shouldn't be trying to give you both. You know, supporting legacy applications should be happening in a completely different manner than the way they're managing it right now. That's my opinion. Uh, and I realize they've got a rather large install base, but they've, they've also got to grow, right? I mean, could you imagine what the iPad or the iPhone would have been like if Apple had tried to cram OS X into uh, a mobile touch-oriented factor? Uh, it would have been a catastrophe. And Apple knows this. They knew this. That's why they didn't do it. Microsoft didn't figure that out the first time around with the tablet PC. Will they figure it out with Windows 8? Well, no. So uh, I hope someone over at Microsoft is listening. I hope many people are listening. But in terms of 13 things uh, that we've seen that really jump out, number one, give users a clear and simple choice. Uh, and and that, it, again, it comes down to where do you want to live? Metro or Arrow? Make up your mind. Don't be a schizophrenic operating system. Uh, two, create a tutorial. Uh, that's something that I'm sure is happening with documentation. Uh, I was able to kind of get in there and figure things out, g generically speaking, but it would have been helpful to have some uh, guide to get me from point A to point B. Uh, bring back the RSS News app, uh, and this was something that was in the developer preview. Apparently, it's gone now, which is kind of disappointing because it was really, really neat. We even did a, a video and an article on it a, a, a little while ago. Uh, stop with all the additions, dude. I, we talked about this last week where they have like nine SKUs, something like that, eight or nine versions of Windows that you can buy. And I realize it's, you know, different features and different price points, but that's still too much for the consumer to try to figure out. Uh, and even when they walk into a store, they just, they just look, it's Windows. That's all I know. It's Windows. That's all I care about, dude. It's Windows on a PC. Don't let them think about the additions. Let them think about what features they want. That's all. Just, just the features, not the additions. Uh, making shutting down easier. 
Uh, and this was submitted by Creighton Miller as an idea. Um, apparently, there's a couple of extra processes with Windows 8. I haven't had that much time with it in terms of the shutdown process, at least, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, custom background images for the start screen would be nice. Allow Metro apps to run in Windows. Uh, so that would be in a windowed environment instead of just you know full screen in the Metro UI. Uh, give more user control uh, on the start screen. Uh, and this is something that was submitted by Brent Church, uh, part of the Locker Gnome community. Standardized keyboard shortcuts. Uh, that should definitely be standardized across the board, especially with, when there's a keyboard involved. Improve the mail app, and then, of course, different interface for different devices. Uh, you know, Microsoft's making some pretty bold decisions with Windows 8. Uh, I'm excited to use Windows 8 on a mobile PC, but only stay in Metro. And, and I think that says it all. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if you have a chance, take a look at the consumer preview. We are going to continue to publish information about Windows 8, our own discoveries, our own pers uh, perspectives uh, in using it and offering suggestions. Hopefully Microsoft is listening. Nobody really knows, though. Uh, I hope they're listening to your feedback, and I hope you're listening to us as well. If there's anything you want us to take a look at in Windows 8, uh, well, feel free to ask if you haven't tried it yourself, and I'd be shocked if you haven't because a lot of geeks are really interested in what's going to be happening with Microsoft. But, uh, you know, I've, I've pretty much said everything I needed to say, at least for now. Take a look at the article. It's linked in the description.